What is up, guys? <laughs> See you. <laughs> oh my God! Happy Cinco de Mayo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've, already, I've already had a couple of beers with me, so I'm feeling pretty good so far. Mm -hmm. uh, what have you guys been up to since the live po last podcast? Shit. Last well, v I does go for it. It's Eddie's eating. Yeah, v -dubs. How about, yeah? I'm, I'm eating. I was going to say, I'm going to say my fast. I was going to say my fast so I could eat. I was like, I just worked. <laughs> Done. Go on, man. Um, oh, shit. Uh, okay. I can only know what happened yesterday. I don't remember what happened like five days ago. Like legit, I don't remember because it's been wild. Um, went up to Pear Blossom, California. Where is Pear Blossom? No idea. But there's like this pier space area where the um, what is it? all the fires that happened last year? Do you remember what it was? It's like something was near the Devil's Punch Bowl. Really? Oh, I remember. That. Like, like literally the beginning of 2020 when when Australia was on fire. I feel like everything was on fire. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Something was on fire over here, uh -huh. and it like totally consumed this one pure space location where like all these people would like pay to like do music videos or whatever because it'd be like abandoned <laughs> um, buildings and like cool structures, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So then me and this blogger we decided we're gonna go out there because they built a new spot spent all day shooting we're like all right finally it's going to be three and a half hours when i get home driving down highway 138 and oh. see randomly an atv in the middle of the street oh shit right oh shit then look down like we're going really slow it's like two miles an hour and like what the hell is happening why is there so much traffic all of a sudden there's a shoe and then <laughs> going a little more Fuck. There's a body laying down. Oh my god! And slightly shitty, like a tarp thrown on top of it. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, and then just a whole bunch of people like that are on the side of the road, just looking. Like so they thought it was that? fresh. That shit's crazy, dude. Yeah. I don't know why that triggered. I think now I that you mentioned it, it's a repressed freaking memory. But I have seen a dead body in TJ when I was a kid. Uh, where it was fresh and i know that feeling like yeah. where you know it's just like because yeah. yeah. you see like, like the shoe and shit like when you said shoe i went out. oh shit like it reminded me of what i saw it was like going to i forget what beach the rosarito i think mm -hmm. and i guess something a collision just happened with the motorcycle but ugh, that yeah yeah when you said that i was like oh shit the shoe that that reminded me oh. i haven't thought about that in forever thanks <laughs> So, <laughs> holy shit <laughs> so now that you bring that up too i had one exactly like that on the freeway and it was a motorcycle crash for ah. myself i think i mean they could have got cut off but yeah. so there's two people on the motorcycle one was fucking stiff as a board i just remember it it was like mm -hmm. Anne was super stiff like rigor mortis style and the other person i think was a guy because he looked bigger uh he was like all out of it and he was like barely like moving slowly and shit and i remember like blood underneath the helmet of the first one that was all fucking stiff and shit Damn. like 17 or 18 at the time i think like Damn. it's crazy how that shit burns in your head huh like just burn in my head dude i was just like oh my gosh but you knew the other one was dead yeah it's not every day that you see dead people no yeah. that's sure. crazy no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, well, shit, let's liven it all up again. <laughs> 10 subscribers. <laughs> Fuck, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fuck, man. Fuck. <laughs> hey, hey, that's part of life, too, though. That's part of life, too. We totally took a 180. We went super dark in the beginning. <laughs> let's, let's, let's flip it. Let's flip this bitch. Flip that. So we, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> So we passed 10 subscribers. So like we said, on this podcast, the Cinco de Mayo podcast, which is fitting for it, we're all going to have drinks. Ooh. And I am drinking a Modelo. I've been drinking Modelo's. You can't see it. And there it is. Boom. And I'm going to drop that. And then I'm not sure what Eddie has. What is that? So I have a tequila. It is called Davi Tequila Reposada. It says ultra premium tequila, 100% agave azul. Hecho That's in so Mexico, real. cabrones. By a comedios. Number of people to Santo Amen. Let's see what happens. 
<laughs> Holy shit, I haven't drank in a long time. Oh my and god. Vitas, what are you opening up? Um, I think that was more than a shot. <laughs> You're, you're sipping it. You're sipping it. That's no, not the first one's a shot though, because I, I promise. Okay. Okay. I said, "Yo, if we hit um, that, so we it's hit up to you guys. We're going Zen. If that even rhymes. Am I doing tequila or am I doing mezcal? Um, right paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. So <gasps> I'll be um mezcal, okay, and okay. he'll be tequila. Or no, yeah, tequila, right? All right. All right. So if I win, that's what it is. All right, ready? Here we go. Rock paper scissors. I got you. Ah, oh, you got me. All right. Uh, so you have to do the tequila. Yeah, Your tequila. Tequila mockingbird. Tequila mockingbird. Well, <clears throat> as promised, I'm going to shoot this 10 subscriber shot. And this is going to be uh, with Moment Wendy. Silence. Moment French of fries. Silence. Coke. Oh, man. Watch this face with no chaser. No chaser. No lime. No salt. Holy shit. This is... uh. A, a big ass shot too. Look at that. Oh my that's, god. That's gonna be a that's a double. Let's see. Good buddy. Salute, oh, holy balls. Oh my god, I could breathe fire right now. Oh. <laughs> if I had a match, that feels like it would just burn, dude. God damn. It burns in a good way? Burns in a good way. So you could tell that's not cheap because usually yeah. the cheap one has like this funky aftertaste. Yeah. That one hits smooth, but it's just hot. It's like yeah. burning my chest right now, dude. Yeah. That's good. I want a taco with that one, dude. Whoo. Well, mm -hmm. shit. Uh, I'm going to pour the next one just to sip on. All yeah. right. So wait, real Cheers. quick. Val, are you shooting? Uh, yeah. I mean, you, you shot. Oh. All right. Okay. Moment of silence. Here we go. Paying attention. Where's, where's the drum roll? Okay. Here we go. Look at that, dude. It's good, huh? It's good. That shit's good if she went like that. Sure. <laughs> hey, show off your bottle. What is it? What's the brand? Me, tequila Mi Agave. Okay, so what would you give that out of 10? I got Tavi Tequila right here. Oh, my God. So Tavi Tequila with the naked girl. See her right there just dancing. Yeah. Um, what would you rate it then? So out of 10 and 10 being like a high-end tequila, this mm -hmm. one was smooth. It didn't taste cheap. There's like that Don Julio and all that shit. Mm -hmm. I'd rate this like a solid 8.1. Like that's up there. That's not cheap shit. So if you're into tequila, that's good stuff. It's not like Patron and all. Like, yeah, that's overrated and not that good. How about yours, Val? What would you rate yours? Um, that looked like it was pretty good. Look like. I mean, I don't really drink this much. Like, How'd you like it though? Yeah. Uh, it was fucking amazing. Because your reaction, usually, this yeah. is Tequila's reaction. Ready? They go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to see right now, like, sure. how much it is. Now I want to try the Rocks Tequila, dude. Fool's always chugging. I, I heard it's awful. Oh, really? <laughs> I hope the, yeah. Dwayne, the Rock is not watching this. Because if you smell, he'll whoop that candy at. <laughs> I mean, he probably would. Like, okay, yeah, so yeah. this, this you can buy... For like anywhere from fifty to sixty bucks. Okay, but you would recommend it for sure. It looks like it's bomb. I'm gonna have to try that one. Dude, it's actually really good. Like it That's has good. a good flavor. That's what I like with tequilas, like that good flavor going down. I don't mind the burn, but I just hate that stupid aftertaste. Like there is no burn. Yeah. Woo! And people, just so you know, I don't drink, so if I say something foul, mm. it's on you. <laughs> I was like, you're watching. <laughs> We're not editing it out either. It's oh, dude, for real. Oh, all right. So oh, it's TBMA rated. Oh, I just went to MA rating real quick. There's an MA yeah. rating for sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know what we're going to talk about. We're eating, food. MA. we're eating food right now. Oh, sure. What's up with that Mexican food? Dude, I had tacos today for. For Cinco de Mayo, they're fucking delicious. I want to know, but that was a little earlier. I, I got tacos because I knew we'd be drinking. I finished it right before we started this podcast. I don't want nice. I don't want to be like spilling like Eddie eating. No, 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 no. But like when I eat tacos and shit, like that shit's like rolling down my fucking hand. Um, oh, dude. Oh, so my. Like, yeah, I can't put that on the podcast. Mm -hmm. No, maybe, no, no. Maybe no. people will be into it. Who knows? No, people There's love it. Weirdos out there. Like, we'll have a okay. we'll have a mouth cam just. Oh, 
all, it's all close to shit. <laughs> You like when you're chewing, you see like the spit. I'm just just eating dick shaped fucking food and shit. (laughs) (laughs) What am I real quick? (laughs) Perfect. Bananas, popsicles, fun sticks, fun sticks. Oh man, that's game over right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you guys want to see that. We know like 10 subscribers, and then we no. only do that. Yeah, that's 100 subscribers. Right? That's 3,000 subscribers. Fuck that shit, dude. <laughs> oh, man, dude. That's I just hilarious. start fucking deleting on the chat. <laughs> Delete yeah, the like, channel goes no, missing. <laughs> the channel's gone. What happened? Yeah, what happened? Oh, We're dude. back at five, dude. <laughs> 50 unsubscribes. Did they rebrand? <laughs> oh, so, so I know we're talking about this, and you're having a little food right now. Uh, so what are your like food tips or what do you do when you guys are shooting weddings do you do how I do it I bring some food with me I'll bring drinks and shit just to make sure I'm not left out of of stuff because that's happened to me well real quick before we talk about those food food tips what do you guys think in (laughs) celebration of Cinco de Mayo like dropping your favorite Mexican food like what's your shit and why like dude because we all know if you're in SoCal we got bomb ass Mexican food so, what are your guys' favorite top spots to eat when it comes to Mexican food, and what's your dish of choice? It, it depends. Though. Are you talking about like fast food Mexican? Yeah, or yeah it could be hole in the wall, hole in the wall, fast food. Like those are the best usually, dude. Those are bomb. Yeah, I. Uh, I'll tell you I, this. Huh. I'll, I'll start off at one with a banger. If you sure. guys ever come down here, like to I'm gonna say um, San Isidro area, look up a place called Ed Fernandez. Holy shit. Just Google, not Google, YouTube that and watch how the guy reviews that. It's birria. All these guys do is make birria and they go from 9 to 2 p.m. That's it. They don't even open past that. At 2 p.m. they shut down. But you need to try it. It's called their, um, el, I think it's called el extra or something like that. Where it's the birria, but it's crisp with cheese. And it has pico de gallo. Oh my God, that thing's so good, dude. And you could get consomme de birria to dip your taco in. With their salsa, that shit is the best birria you could ever have in your life, dude. Better than TJ. It's really good. So that's mine because uh, that's a little uh, plug that I like to give people when they come down south for sure. It's a good-ass spot, dude. How about you guys? Um, I think She's my like, favorite about. thing as of right now is um, not chicken, but usually <laughs> chicken. Like mole chilaquiles with like nopalas mm. on top. But mole at, at this place called La Cazula del Mole in Rosarito. In That's Rosarito? Jam. Damn, dude. Hell yeah. That is my jam. That's authentic. I know, I know it's not San Diego, but. Close enough? <laughs> I mean, it's right. It's a Papa's and beer. Like, come on. That's what's people, up. That people know where that is. I guess so. <laughs> Hopefully. All right. So for since, since we're going all over the fucking place. Oh yeah. So for for like Rosarito Baja, they have bomb ass tacos at K thirty eight. That's right across the Jesus. If you're ever fucking going. Okay. Yeah. 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 The, the Jesus. best tacos ever. Like super right, bomb. Super the best. You know, like like oh, just for like a week or two. I'd get up every day. To make sure I got some tacos because they fish it out like every they fish, oh. so they got the the freshest. Shit. <laughs> Both of us is oh. yeah. <laughs> and, and once it's out, it's out. They don't open. Yeah. They only open until the food's gone. You know what I mean? Oh. So if you ever get a chance, there's the taco spot K thirty eight tacos, and it's yeah. always busy. What, what is it? One more time. K thirty eight tacos. K thirty eight. K thirty eight. It's right across the big ass Jesus statue. If you've ever been down in like Rosarito. Okay, by so that. that's the Mexico sure. spot that I like to go to. And then for like just fast food, like California burrito is my shit. Senor right. Ponchos. There's like you can you can never go wrong with the like like eighty percent of them. Hey, for our people who aren't from SoCal that don't know what a California burrito is, explain that shit because some people don't know that shit. I mean, it's just, it's just a carne asada burrito, but they throw fries in that motherfucker, and for some reason, <laughs> with sour cream. Holy shit, that's just bomb. bomb. It's yeah. bomb. I don't know why, but it is. Like whenever yeah. I go out of town or like out of the country and I'm gone for a while or whatever, 
when I come back home, that's usually like the first thing yeah. I get. And like all, a lot of my peers that are from here, once they come back, because a lot of them moved out, they get I'll a fucking grub a burrito like first things first, you know? Mm-hmm. And then um, I guess that's it. I, I was going to put down a sit down spot, but I can't remember the name, the name of it. So. Yeah, I love holding the walls though. And like you said, K32s, like street tacos, like shit like that's so much better. It's more so passion. And I was it, joking with the missus, like um, when it comes to chains and big names and stuff like that, you ha- there's no room for passion. Like it's kind of like, here's how we make our burgers. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. But when it's like a little shop that a little abuelita owns, like, you know, she's fucking throwing down. Like that's her fucking livelihood. Like yeah. there's this Thai food place that we, I know it's not Mexican, but you could tell she busts her ass. And I respect the hustle. Just kind of like what we do in a sense, like we're not corporate. We bust our asses mm-hmm. off. So it's pretty dope to see small businesses yeah. do the same it's with their small food. Small business, yeah, yep. for sure. Big time, dude. Big time. Um, so. uh, I'm trying to remember the name of that Mexican spot. But I'll, I'll, sit down one? It's a sit down spot, yeah. yeah. If it I'll comes up, just later. mention it, dude. Just so the yeah. viewers can have that spot for sure. Yeah, yeah. K32 is on the crosshairs. 38, Holy 38. Shit. Ah, K38. Holy send them shit. somewhere else. Yeah. Need to try that one, dude. Yeah. So going back to the the food tips, did you want to talk about those? You said, yeah. I mean, a lot. I feel like a lot of people along the way have never, like, they never take their own shit, like lunch mm-hmm. or snacks or waters or like, you know, most of most people are really nice and they'll offer you food, but I've I've encountered people that didn't offer me anything, didn't offer mm-hmm. me shit. So it's just like it's it's smart to bring some supplies just in case i've had people not offer me dinner dude. so it's like well working like wedding. nine hours huh oh shit at weddings right yeah, yeah at a yeah. wedding oh that's horrible dude and then like there's no food i'm like sick thanks you know like awesome but there's two of us so like i ran to grab food okay you did run a book okay good yeah, i'm like good fuck that we're gonna eat this is bullshit yeah good for you dude what about you guys Val, what was your, uh, I think you mentioned before the show, like some of the tips you said, and even not weddings. That's a really good ass point, yo. Because yeah. I always think just food with weddings. But well, no, speak Renee on Renee was that. talking about how he brings like a lunchbox. Like I yeah. always keep like stupid shit in my car, like gummy bears. Mm. Like Ooh. I don't crave <laughs> gummy bears, <laughs> yeah. but if I'm starving, right. they're great. Because, you know, there's sugar and there's different flavors of them. So any like disgusting snack food that maybe when you were a kid you loved like sour patch kids you just bust them but i particularly love getting like these um oh my god what are they your brain is farting they're caffeine like gummies like jelly beans (laughs) right oh man they're caffeine little like gummy bears that's crazy. I never and heard of And jelly beans. And then there's like a um, little ginseng thing. So like you get your little bit of sugar high. Yeah. And you're still able to like work. That being yeah. cool. That's the thing. It sucks too. Because if you pack something like chips, I noticed myself after a shoot, I'm not, I'm not starving. But I know there's chips in my car. I just pop them open as I'm driving home. And I'm like, no, these are my chips for if I was starving during a shoot. Yeah. I always pack water. For always sure. water like can stuff because i know that if it's plastic and it's in your car for too long it goes shit yeah dude that thing tastes like shit plastic water when it burns through like ugh, mm-hmm. you're eating it's some just, of that plastic it's not food. good for you oh. um but uh i also have it in my contract that if you don't feed me that i will order food on your behalf you well, can order food on your behalf yeah i charge you 50 bucks and i order food <laughs> That's yeah. I just go and leave and eat, but that's a good yeah. ass clause right I, there. I'll stay and I'll have like Uber Eats delivered to me. But on your behalf. Yeah, uh, on like then it gets billed to them. Wow. That, and is, I don't care if it's twenty seven dollars, I bill them fifty. Where'd you get that idea though? Like, is that from a contract you saw or that's pretty sick? No, I, I've heard a lot of people saying like, oh, well, if you don't offer food or anything within like eight after eight hours then i get to leave for 30 minutes to give yeah. myself food but it's like no 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 no. i want to still be present in case you need me yeah but now you'll be charged an additional fee that's right. kind of cool so nobody can be like well you weren't there it's like i was there i was there the whole time starving dude i like that shit that's, that's a good, a good idea yeah then ordering I, I exactly I can... what i want you know yeah. that's another thing 
because I would think that because that, that happened to me once where I had to leave and go eat like yeah. that's I'd rather stay and have Uber Eats, especially right now. Right. What a time where mm-hmm. the food could come to you. That's mm-hmm. a good fucking clause. Damn. Whoever's listening to that. That, Take notes on that shit. That's good. That's really that. good. That's a good. Well, cheers to that. Yep. <laughs> like, that's man. a really good one. That's it. I'm gonna put that down. Just because I've had people like right. not read the whole thing and then correct. They don't give you correct. food, and I learned along the way. Like, dude, I'm gonna bring a lunch fucking box with yeah. snacks and drinks and everything that I think I'm gonna need just in case. You never know. And sometimes like they'll give you shitty food, and I'm like, dude, I got better food in my fucking lunch box. You fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get some shit food, bro. Let me get my <laughs> fucking food cam on. Just if, on if my lunchbox. Say, <laughs> this has happened to me when when they go to the nicer places, they give you like a box. No. Why is it the nicer places? That's what I learned to not get my hopes up. Like when it's so bougie. Like I remember the first wedding, I was like, oh, we're gonna eat good today. Mm-hmm. A little sandwich. Yeah. For my team. I was like, sandwich for my team. What's up with that filet mignon right there? Oh, that's right? for the guest. Yeah, that that's a hundred. What the person. fuck? <laughs> yeah. and I, ours cost fifty dollars, and they don't even know that's the most bullshit thing. Is the couples yeah. don't know they're paying fifty dollars for like a fucking lunchable. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. sad. Like, no, no, no. You give me the fifty dollars client, and you say you're not getting an even meal. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times, give me the fifty know. bucks. I'll go get Uber Eats right now. Right, exactly. Wild Wings. Fuck yeah. that. Yeah. A lot of, exactly. A lot of times. Hey, thirty-eight. I'm gonna they get think, it delivered from across the state. They think they're getting a fresh plate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, they, they don't know, but they also they're sold that from the venue. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of venues are very fucking deceptive, which is yeah. is kind of shitty in like this time that we're living. Like everybody's very transparent. Like I'm transparent about like pricing and like everything that I do. I'm super honest with people. Like even if photos aren't working while I'm shooting, I'm like that doesn't work. Let's move on. Blah 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 blah. It's like why can't venues also kind of be honest? Ooh. Like, oh yeah, Speaking like we're uh we're gonna make sure that they're all oh, your vendors are like happy and they're fed right, but it's fifteen dollars per, or they can eat with you and it'll be two hundred per. You want to save seventy five percent? Yeah, you should totally give them that one. Then it's the vendor meal. It's good, right? Huh? And then they give these little tiny boxes. Like here we go. Like okay, That's crazy. cool. That sandwich is stale. I didn't know this bread could get hard. It's super old. <laughs> it could get hard. That's what yeah. it like Days ago. It's amazing. No, nah, but uh, yes. you mentioned the right word, though, is honesty. I wish there was more people that were honest. And Renee, I know you mentioned before this cast is about the whole booking. Remember that? Like, if yeah, you yeah. have a client that, you know, obviously, oh, okay, we gave them a deal. They're nice. But then somebody has like a 5K budget and they're like, we want you. We yeah. just want to freaking book you. We don't care how much it costs. Just what happens? I yeah, don't know. Like, have you, have you, I'm, I'll add a little more to that question. It's like, have you ever had a, like a gig where you're like, all right, well, this gig is an hour away. But now with this gig, this new one, it's closer. And I'm going to make more money. What do you do? <laughs> it's like, I, me, I've been. I want to know what you do. I want to know what you I, do, dude. I've always, <laughs> I've always kept my word. So to whoever Good. whoever asked me first, I just like I it sucks. Sometimes I just you know I take that hit and I'm just like fuck. And I'm curious to that. That's tight, dude. Yeah. But now I'm just like, man, like I just need to make more money. So it's like I'd rather just yeah, I'd rather just try to find someone else to cover it. Or like, you know what I mean? That way I could get both. But at the same time, it's hard to find people who one aren't busy. Yeah. And then two are reliable. Because a lot of times, what about number three though? What's it's, number three? it's your caliber of work. Cause like that's the other thing too. Like that's your shit. Like you know how you shoot. You know how good you are. To get someone who's like, eh, like yeah, yeah, ah, but dude. you can at least tweak it in the editing. At least, but they have yeah. to be like I would say seventy percent of me, where I could pick up the slack thirty percent on post. But if they're not there, like that's sketch, dude. Like that's the hard part. That's Ooh. the hard part. I and I know like- how I shoot. <laughs> I'm picky, yeah. dude. I'm Me too. I mean, I think I feel like we have all developer style where it's like, for sure. You know, you have to show someone how they do it because they're gonna they're gonna have their own habits and how they Correct. do it. No, that's not right. That's not what I do. And everyone's like that. You know, yeah. you, I've met so many. I've met so many people where I'm like, okay, like I'll do it your way, but I'm gonna just do it. But. And how soon is that wedding? That second one where they call it's like three months or less away, where you're like, fuck, like it's just yeah. so fast that. 
you can't train someone you can't mm-hmm. like find someone it's just like god's testing yeah. you like yo what yeah. are you gonna do motherfucker? <laughs> like, and, and i <laughs> i feel like i feel like <laughs> the stress of it is like not worth it like to be like like oh maybe this guy or girl can correct do it. Or maybe they can't maybe they fuck it up and make your name even worse yeah mm-hmm. you know what that's i mean like it's, it's very hard i'd rather just like take a deep breath like all right i'm not gonna take that money i'm just gonna take the gig that i already have it sucks it's a shitty feeling but it's happened before i mean yeah. do you guys agree with that or do you- oh dude i'm with you a thousand percent i'll stick to my word over the money dude because like man i'm a i'm not saying this to be cocky but i know i could get that amount like later for sure like just because say if it was 5k and the other one was 2k oh three thousand dollar deficit like okay well fuck what other two jobs could i get to make that up like it it's a psychology thing where you're like okay i didn't get it this time but let me get it somewhere else like that you guys know how it is owning a business oh the liquor's kicking in for sure i'm getting like, oh, <laughs> <You're sorry. girl." laughs> i was like oh shit but you know how it is where you literally can like say i want to work today or i don't want to work today so yeah. you can call like an old client and be like yo i was thinking about reshooting a commercial for you we haven't worked in a while and your video's like six months old what do you think about doing another video shoot for a wreck yeah or no you'll probably get that job. You know what I mean? Like, it's not that hard to get another 2K, 3K as a photographer or videographer these days. Because content is king, man. What do you guys think about that on some real shit? Now, is that for like businesses? Or are you are you actually, are you talking about weddings where you get more references? Well, that's the other thing too, right? Like, do you guys okay. dabble in commercial too or just weddings? Because I do both, commercial I do and both. weddings. Because yeah. I, I supplement my weddings that I don't get during the week like with commercial because like it's so easy to pick up a call and just hustle business versus weddings we talked about it you can't cold call people and be like hey y'all are you engaged yeah. Yeah. are you in love <laughs> are you in love are you in love you want to spend so money? i got the perfect offer for you yeah that's are you even engaged yet because we can set up your proposal with us look out of the bush <laughs> Let me ask you this. Do you take weddings? <laughs> do you take wedding gigs during the week? Like Monday, Thursdays, or would you rather do yeah. the work? Oh, dude, no, no, no. Uh, weddings for sure pay more money okay. and it's funner for sure. If you could get them Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesdays, that's awesome. More power to you. But they just happen Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays a lot. So yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. But uh, courthouse weddings, Monday, oh. Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> How about doing those? But I, just, I was just curious about. Would you rather do the commercial work? Give me away the cookie. Give me away the cookie. Yeah, she went, She came in. She's like, give me my cookie. I was like, all right, girl. <laughs> That's what's up. But yeah, dude. Go ahead. <laughs> I was like, what I was saying. I was, just, I was listening to the cookies. Dude, that, uh, it's not ASMR. how I listen. Just... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can hear that. Wait, wait, we have to like hear you bite into the cookie. Okay, you ready? This is now you're gonna be so up. soft. Let's so see. Let's see. Hold on. Close. I'm gonna have to you're remove, the, the, remove the pop. Food. Okay, here we go. Let's see if. <laughs> I tried to add a little extra something, something that didn't work. That did not sound good. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Man, we just lost a subscriber right there. <laughs> Half of them. We're back at five. We're at back at five. Let me uh it's just us. <laughs> All right, this is podcast number one. <laughs> We're back at one. Rebranding. The oh, Sunrise. So do you, do you do you okay? So to get back on that little subject, do you guys find it easy to subcontract to other people or do you just say no, I'm just gonna do one one gig a day? I have no problem if there is a five thousand dollar gig and a two thousand dollar gig that i already committed to what i do do is i reach out to the two thousand dollar gig and say hey would you like a price cut if i give you another photographer and i still edit the work so it'll be a second shooter that always works with me and you get a little bit of a discount fireball (laughs) <laughs> she's dropping right? fireballs today if, dude. if they say Holy no shit. then i'm like okay fine like i i do that two thousand dollar job now For if sure. the five thousand dollar job also wants me i give them that same opportunity hey i'm not available but my second shooter can do this and i'll still give you my same style at a discount 
Boom. And you'll still get my editing like that. And you'll still get my editing. You'll still get my style. I could probably come if it's a, if it's a wedding, then I can come shoot your engagement session. If it's, um, you know, corporate client, then I can go discuss with you in person, maybe even bring that shooter that's going to be shooting your event, whatever. Ooh, so you, that was you, good. I just got clients, <laughs> always thinking that you are able to either like provide like a team member or yourself and they always think about you they don't think about somebody else because as soon yeah. as you let go of them you might never get them back yeah that was good i like that really good uh, offering a discount that so good. that's a big fireball dude if that's one thing you take out of the show is uh damn be nimble like be flexible that was dope yeah. like that's being flexible that's kind of uh you know doing that hard call yeah. it is it, a hard it, call you're taking a little bit of a loss yep. but you're but still being no. honest to yourself no, I and that. And I'm you're giving the opportunity to, for somebody to save money too. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, man. Most people, you're most, joking, guy. Most what? people, most people will take the savings <laughs> over anything. <laughs> yeah, she got hit. Look what? at that. She took man down. Well, man down. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I was laughing at you, Eddie. So when I was laughing at you, I started to choke. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Sorry. Uh, that was funny, dude. Hey, well, we figured with the alcohol that was a little wild today. Oh, dude, well, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be bad. I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. This is even better. This is, even better. This is not good. Nah, it is good. No, nah, but that, that's my what face I can, is on fire. I can move dude, for reals, my yeah, my face is warm as fuck. I, I feel like it. I'm sweating balls. Look at it. Woo, glistening, baby. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Good I time. want to move on to the next thing. Do you take multiple gigs on the same day? Yes. And do, do you ever run into problems of doing that? No. So, what do you mean? Uh, are we talking about weddings or like corporate on this one? All of it. Just all of it. Yeah. yeah. All of it. So, like wedding, two full engagement day. sessions. One's at like noon and one's at four. But the one at noon, they say the hair is running late and they got to start later at two. And you're like, shit, I can't start at two because when that would end, then my other one will begin. No. Yeah. Like, do yeah. you deal with that? How do you yeah. deal with that? Fuck, dude. I think do, that's... Do you uh, even do that? That's the do thing. Even like, book? That right there is an easy fix. And it's one word, fucking contract. Like, in yeah. that contract, if you were to have them sign, you literally could use that to your advantage in court should they try to show you where you say, yo, I told you, like, I have to be out by two because I have multiple shoots this day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your hair person ran late. That's not in my fault. Like, I feel bad, mm -hmm. but I'm not liable here. So if you try suing me, you will get dick. And I could technically keep your retainer, but I'd be glad to give it back to you because I feel bad. You know what I mean? Like, but you're safe because of the contract. So again, we all it's a recurring theme that we talk about on the cast though, is contracts. Contracts will fucking make or break you. Because that's I, where you get really bent big time. I agree with the contracts, but most people probably don't read them. So they're yeah, like, they don't accurate, accurate. Oh, you're a thousand percent you correct. Believe, I'm just like you know, it sucks to be the person who's like, well, read your fucking contract. Yeah. I, I reiterate nonstop leading up to something if I have multiple bookings. I say, hey, like, we have a hard stop at 1 p.m. So if for some reason, the day in advance, you think that we're going to push back, we just need to reschedule. Like, just let everybody you know, if you have a makeup and hair, whatever the hell else you have to do with your body, you're going to get a full on tan session. Make sure you go the day before. Yeah. Like, it's up to you to plan it out. Think about it like a wedding. Give yourself some freaking buffer time. Say, you, like, you feel nervous, then have a cocktail. Yeah. And That's, the thing, man. That's the thing. It's all planning. When it comes to the end of the day, it's just communication and planning. Communication and planning. That's what it comes down to. So yeah. doing multiple gigs in a day, though, is fucking fun, though. I'm not going to lie. I like that it's shit. Fun. It's yeah. Fun. yeah. It's fun, but it's stressful. it's stressful. Oh, it is. But, dude, when you nail it, it's sick, yeah. dude. Just when you feel productive. At the end of the fun. day, you're well, like, yeah. I did three sessions. Yeah. You're like, holy oh. shit. Well, yeah. it's, that, it's that feeling of accomplishment once Big you time. knock out a bunch of shit. You're like, hell yeah. I, will, I have money coming in, blah, blah, blah. That paycheck. I yeah. knock shit out. It's just stressful as fuck because that, is. a lot of people don't understand that aspect. They're like, well, I don't know, man. I feel like sometimes that shit gets disrespected. Like, well, oh, you, yeah. You oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, no, I can't. 
Yeah, the, what, the what did you say? The, the thing saturated. before I missed it, disrespect it a lot. What that no, oh, you like, or like, like people be like, Well, you can stay, like, they don't respect your time. Oh, exactly. okay, gotcha. In the gotcha. same way, they would respect someone else's time, like, it's still, it's still yeah, it's like, Oh, do you want to work overtime for free? No, you, you don't want to make that time and a half, you just want to work for free. Like, I feel like a, I feel like a dick being like, Yeah, I gotta pay off because I got some other shit to do. Yeah, but you, we talked about this, I gave you X amount of time. And you're over. I just feel like a dick telling him, like, "Hey, I gotta, I gotta go." I literally have gotta... you told him before, like when you have multiple gigs, because I've done that before, where say I got two more gigs in a day, and I remember this day vividly. It was really awesome. It was at Balboa Park, and they were all gonna be at Balboa Park. But I said, "Hey, just so you know, I have two other gigs after this. Is this time does?" The, and I just said this: "Does this time frame still work for you? This time frame?" And they're like, oh, yeah, that'll work for you. Okay. And I said this. Okay. So at 245, if you need extra time, I, I can't do it. Is that cool? Are you sure? Or do you want to maybe push it forward? I need to know now. So I put it on them, but I still gave them that fat warning where they're like, oh, shit. Like now that motherfucker knows, like, I have to do it. So I told them about my other two sessions when I got them, whereas before I didn't do that. But yeah. now I do yeah. do that. So it's like kind of what Val does, mm -hmm. but stepping in about the half deal thing or not the half. No, 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 fuck no. But the discount where you say, hey, if my other shooter comes in, like it's that that conversation, that tough right. one. But it's so good, man. It's I guess so my good. next question is, have you ever been like, it's 245. I got to go. We didn't get any work done. What do you do? I haven't run into that because they're fucking before that. They're trying to get everything. By yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah, they try. It hasn't happened. Even yet. if they're late, they're happy with like if let's say they're 30 minutes late to only an hour session right. we only shoot for the 30 minutes and i'm like all right since you're 30 minutes late i say that out loud to their face I'm like since you guys are 30 minutes late we are going to hit up here 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 and here how does it sound good okay cool and we're not going to like you know have a fun conversation like we would if it was a full hour we're going to like knock out these poses or do you want to just do two locations and we just have like one minute conversation of that and then they're like okay cool i'm gonna go here go do this huh, huh, huh. it's so posy it's so ha, ha, ha. <laughs> some laughs are real but the majority is like all faked and i'm like that's on you guys don't be late yeah. and i'm yeah. out bye but no one's ever been like uh we only have 15 minutes left in our session and now valerie has to bounce like no yeah Luckily, i haven't experienced that thank god yeah so far knock on wood knock on wood so I got a thing in that, thing. that shit's annoying as fuck so that has happened to you it's happened to me where people are just late uh -huh. i'm like all right it's gonna start at two it starts right at two or whatever mm -hmm. time and that's when the time starts if you're 20 minutes late the time's already started exactly but, I, but i've always felt bad about it because i, okay. like, I want to make sure it's good no. But like now, I'm just like, no. I, that's why last time we had our last podcast a couple, couple like three or four ago, where I was like, if it's time, I just take off. I don't. Mm. It's like it's my time. You want to pay for more time? I'm out. That's why I'm so like brutal about it now. It's just like there's so much disrespect on on the time of like what we do that I'm just like, if you want to pay for more time, that's cool. I'll stay. But if you don't and you want to stretch. You want to stretch out my time because you don't respect yeah, them. Yeah, because they were late. Right. Then I got to I gotta go. I got to take off. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Five minutes. I, I feel like that's five minutes is fine. People. But like, you, you know, everyone, every individual knows how much time is like too much time where you're like, no, no, no. I need to get yeah. paid for this shit. This is bullshit. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? That's There's me. a lot of disrespect in the industry, man. And I, I kind of blame it on technology, but we got to adapt dude like everyone with their fucking smartphones like you could get away with some dope ass shot with the iphone the portrait mode and all that shit like you see so many people like these fucking tweens like taking dope ass shots doing some yeah. cool ass edits on their phone yeah, for sure. that when other people see us they're like oh yeah my kid does that like can you just do art like it's just kind of look down upon a little bit and that's kind of why like i kind of lean more towards video right now because yeah. They can't fucking touch me <laughs> like that's hard yeah. to copy a like, lot of people a lot of people have more trouble doing video work yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I find sure. it easier getting video work whereas same same uh, for photography it's like a race to the bottom like, it's oh, hard man. it's a hard like, this guy this guy will do it for a hundred I'm like, right I yeah, yeah 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 i'm good yeah. yeah i'm just at the point where i'm like i don't need to do that shit. like i i 
I always call it eating shit. I ate that shit like 10 years ago. Like I fucking ate it. I worked for 50 bucks, 60, you know, I'm not, do, I don't do that shit. So, do you have any good counters to that? Huh? Do you have any good counters to that? When people say, oh, well, he'll do it for a hundred. Do you guys have any good counters for that? Not that I, not that I tell people in my mind, I have a bunch of good counters, but I'm not going to be. Hey, you've been drinking. What's a, a fun one? <laughs> you know, like, uh, like a famous one is, uh, Esteban Oriol. He'd be, he'd say, well, good pictures, ch- cheap pictures aren't good and good pictures aren't cheap. Ooh, that's like, that's like, like a that. famous one. Like he that. said, yeah. And then I don't know, man, I just don't even, I don't even respond. Like if, you could just kind of tell when people are just like, they just want to they're going for budget like they're they're not looking for you yeah they're looking for the price they're price shopping so it's like yeah if they're price shopping dude one of the best counters that my boy taught me and it's the truth it's this and it's just a simple question then you say so then why did you call me i'm curious why did you call me like when you say that yeah. They'll either sell themselves at that point or just reveal that it's just for price. Yeah. Like if they go, oh, well, I was shopping around, you heard it come out their mouth. But if they go, no, I really like your work, da 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 da, and then you could be like, have you compared it to someone else who's cheap? And then like you get in that conversation with them. So when you say that, like my boy taught me that one, and I've done that to a cheap motherfucker, and I ended up closing their ass because <laughs> I said, so why did you call me then? It That's sounds like one. you're just hunting for prices. Why did you call me? And they're like, well, your editing looks so cool. Like, I like the the finish that you guys do. I was like, what else? And I just kept saying, what else? Yeah. I was selling yes. himself, dude. He's fucking. Right. Oh, you didn't well, do anything. He I saw your website. You. I saw your That's Instagram. So and, and they closed themselves, dude. Like, that right. was the best fucking counter, dude. And I use that till this day. When That's people price one. for price. That's a good one. This alcohol soaked episode has a bunch of tips in it. it dude, good. it's probably like value drip. We should be drinking more. What the fuck? <laughs> and join the party i do this every single time oh dude that this is true because this yeah our liquor is different though yeah but you know you, that you that, guys, okay that is true you know, yeah that's, alcohol liquor so it's different this time it is different vibes different yeah. vibes it's like shit dude truly i i don't have anything to say if someone tells me that they're shopping around or it, like oh i'm talking to other photographers i'm like yeah i'm like, like cool. i don't need to fucking know that i truly don't need to know that it's yeah. like going grocery store shopping and be like, the avocados at Ralph's are much cheaper than the avocados here wow. at Ralph's. It's like, what? Yeah. Like, no one cares. Agreed. Like, oh, don't, buy or don't buy it. <laughs> that reminded me. <laughs> I was talking to my boys about this at lunch, but there are cultures that love to fucking deal. There are cultures that love to deal. And if you know how to play that game, Hey, I'm saying this on the cast, but it's some real shit. If you know the cultures and you know which ones I'm talking about, you basically come in at a higher price and go drop down to your original price and they feel like they won. It's crazy. Like some cultures sure. are like that. It's hilarious. I, uh, have, fun, man. I have my prefer weddings and shit. I have my prices online. Yep. Oh, you do? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. That's bad. I reveal. Dude. I don't, I don't care. care. Yeah, I don't care. Either you're gonna book me or not. I don't. I'm not. Fuck, that's gutsy, dude. Not, <laughs> oh I'm shit. Not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking. <laughs> I'm not gonna answer eighty emails about like. So um, how people. much are you? Yeah, it's like it's all there, dude. The fucking examples are there. There's fucking like there's like a bio. The price is there for everything. There's add-ons like. Yes or no? I don't. Not always. Oh, dude, I'll be devil's advocate here because I've been drinking. I'll be. <laughs> oh. I don't even say, say because a lot of people inquire first, and then you can sell them without actually revealing your prices. But I had so much of that like coming up that I just got like so sick of it. Like yeah, like fuck this. Just fuck. This. These are the prices. Either you want or you don't. Have you heard of uh, a technique called prices start at? Prices start at. Have you yeah, guys yeah, heard yeah. that? Yeah. So basically, uh, for any of you guys thing. listening at, oh my oh, god, you do that, that thing is like clutch. Starting at like it's it's like super low. Yeah. Like, well, like, not super low, but I like I wouldn't put it like at one k because that's deceiving. Like, oh, I would never shoot like a wedding for a one k. But say like for me, I would half day I something like oh, I, would, I would I would I wouldn't I wouldn't. But like, like say one camera say eighteen. Say eighteen. Like that's where I'm gonna do like something six hours of coverage, something simple, courthouse. Uh, one photographer some shit like that so something simple but i'll say prices start at 18 and that gets people on the phone 
I don't like revealing my prices because then they don't get to like if they see 5,000 and they try to like read it themselves, they'll kind of not see the value. So as long as they're willing to pay 18 minimum, I want to ask them fucking questions all day and be like, hey, so what's going on? Like, what's your wedding? How do you want it to look like? Like, I'll ask them what style do you like? I'll let them just jibber jab the whole time. Right. But dude, the pricing start at works so much better than when I revealed my prices. So I just wanted to play devil's advocate. So the people listening, you have two tactics here. And I like what Renee said, like when you don't want to deal with it, when you're like, just fucking here's my information. That's a cool tactic. But if you want to get a chance to shoot your shot, the prices start at that gets people at least like fishing, like, Hey, For sure. um, what's going on to where you get a chance to try to sell them. Yes. They might still be cheap. Yes. They might do that, but still it gives you a chance to at least sell them versus someone who sees your prices might just bounce type thing. So just putting that out there. And this is why I'll say, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll say why as well, because people at like a low price point and whatever low is to you guys, they want the most shit. They want the most. Yeah, stuff. that's true. And those aren't the people I want shooting. I don't want. <laughs> I've shot them already. Like, so I give you X amount of money, but I want everything. And I'm just like, it's not worth it to me. The yeah. people, the people who pay well or like you know well enough, they're the most chill fucking people. They're like, we trust yeah. you. We're for the most part, yep. For the they're most part, fun. Yep. They're really cool. Versus the opposite, it's like they're over your shoulder they're making sure you got everything like blah 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 it's just like and for it's for pennies on the dollar and i'm just like no dude that's why that's one of the reasons i weed them out that's one of the reasons the prices are on there as well yeah if that makes any sense you know what i mean like if you're like well you want you want this package for a thousand bucks i'm not going to be there i could send someone else yeah if you want that but i'm not gonna do it what are your thoughts about i saw you thinking down there what's going on <laughs> sorry i was just curious i was trying to see like how much your prices were for mine <laughs> all of yours i was like trying to search for you guys and mine are mine are, uh, mine are mine are uh, pretty moderate they're not they're not expensive at all i i like found something eddie of yours i don't know how old this is what is it on? oh my god from 77 weeks ago 70 weeks ago oh dude that's old that's outdated shit that's damn 70 weeks ago 77 eddie yeah. flores photo oh dude that's an old brand son <laughs> the brand is uh love life photography the one where we shoot the weddings and all that stuff yeah because i'm seeing this comic-con stuff when you have your child yeah comic-con that, that was a crazy brand dude that oh one was all fashion God. was all you cosplay 14k followers yep you just don't i let that brand go well, that was different though that was what? different that was different types of shoots and shit okay yep. sell that shit mean. to me sell me your account nah <laughs> all of a sudden like post like you're, some you're big booty hose and like change the brand and already have like random 14k no, let, let me ask you this because we spoke about this for a little bit do you do you think you i don't i have never seen that account but i remember you told me you shot comic-con and a lot of yep. it is like women in cosplay correct do you think a lot of the followers are from the cosplay shit oh for oh, sure yeah hands yeah. down dude hands down that's what the brand was that's why if you see it, it's inactive i think the last post was probably 77 like maybe weeks ago 77 weeks ago like i gave up on that brand because it was too easy like to me right, right. like that that's easy like I anybody could build that brand like you just get a picture of like you know some ass cheeks and some yeah, titties yeah. and you're good I had, you know I had what i mean a conversation so. with someone that, like a little while back i was like if i wanted to get more followers i would just shoot models that's easy yeah and we're, we're just showing ass and it's 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 very easy it's i can't think of anything <laughs> to, more to say but it's easy now yeah. some people have great shit as far as like that aspect of photography or whatever yeah but some most people don't but it's ass and titties and people like love that shit so don't follow it well dude it's at the end of the day it's primal shit you're preying off of primal shit like sex is one of the i think it's the hierarchy of needs it's love sex and all this shit like it's sure. at the bottom of the fucking pyramid where humans need that shit so you're preying off of that like that's you're literally just at the bottom of the totem pole type shit you know what i mean so that that's fucking whack to me if you're a business owner like solve a fucking problem like that i'm not i'm creating problems like you know what i mean like those people have problems where 
they probably need to stop seeing so much titties and ass if you know what mm -hmm. i mean like mm -hmm. they need to go fix mm -hmm. themselves so mm -hmm. i was like fuck that shit dude like so i built that mr eddie flores brand and that one what four racks or like 4k of followers but at least i know what i'm gonna put out there is the video content it's gonna be right. about small businesses shit that i actually give a fuck about so yeah, yeah same. that's one thing me and my wife talked about and i was like you know what i'm glad i'm going down that path versus that path am i gonna delete that account no because it's who i was and it's cool val that you pointed that oh. out and i'm glad it's on this cast is that's who i was and it's not who i am now and it's oh. cool to show that because people go you have a huge following and i educate people yeah. i was like but that following is like broken people. You know what I mean? Like well, that's easy. Well, they're not going to give you money. They're not. Oh, dude, with my four rack account on Mr. Eddie Flores, I've made like quintuple of what I did there. I was like say, shit. I was say, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Followers aren't always equivalent to how much money you're making. It's not at all. Exactly. For all you listening out there, you yeah. could have three followers, but if you have one fucking client that pays you a thousand dollars a month, Versus your ten thousand of just looky lose, yeah, you're better off with the three followers. That's what I mean. You know, there's some really great creators and photographers or whatever that have that don't have a huge following, but like their names are known with people who do this type of work. For that sure, makes any sense? You know what I mean? For sure. So, Sorry, I have, I'm like totally going down a weird rabbit hole. Of like, yeah, you're creating that, both of you. That tequila is taking you on a different path, dude. Even your screens. Really I close. believe in me, and I want to believe in you. Oh, my first review, mm, motherfucker. See, I know that one. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie Flores a, brand, a dude. Question: What do you do when you're shooting a wedding when people pop their shit out? And this is for video, because photo you can move faster, you can move around. I had one where this fucking dude was like 400 pounds, I think, and he was like with his cell phone. He popped right in the middle. And was just shooting his shit, and I was like, "Fuck it, they're gonna right when they're kissing, they're gonna see a fucking gigantic beast." Oh, that's in the video. Up. That's not my fault. They, they, that was his fault. I, I, I literally had it where there's, there's been like a mic. That sucks. And the mic has been like right there in front yeah. of them. So when they, they kiss, the way, like, right? like you know, the, the whole thing was like Mike <sighs> was a part of their kiss, basically. Right. Right. and like i i looked at like all the bridesmaids and i was like like can we fucking move it and they're like yeah, yeah. and so one of the grooms and he went ahead and he moved it and then the the officiant was like let's do a first kiss again and i was like <laughs> the good officials awesome. the good officials know to move it out of the way before yeah the, beforehand and he knew yeah. he, he or she knew they fucked up Yep, let's yep. do it again like that's like, fucking ooh, clutch yeah. dude that is fucking clutch to fix it on the spot like that that's yeah. dope. yeah with without making it weird like we didn't get the right shot you know there's still in the moment yeah right but, so but you have to be quick you have to be like i have to yeah. make that decision like now like if i can't get anybody's eye contact do i run up and just pull it out of the way Right. Like I've done oh, it I hate those i'm like huh, huh. as long as you make good with the parents beforehand because then they already know, like, oh, like she's she's coming through with this. She's fixing it. Versus, so, I didn't even meet this person. Why are they interrupting my child getting married? It's so crazy, Eddie, dude. It's a slippery slope, yo. <laughs> Weddings are crazy. So, Eddie, as a video shooter, have you had people jump in the middle of your shot? In weddings, not yet. Yeah. Uh yeah. in I'm gonna say when we were doing a commercial shoot outdoors, there was someone who kept interrupting, and that was an easy fix. I just walked right. up to him and said, Hey, that was cool. What you did. I got that. So they, it's going to be in the clip. We'll put that probably on the behind the scene shots. But for the next one, is it cool if you hide? And they were super cool with it. But I told them like, I got a shot of you. Like we'll probably put that on the behind the scenes. And they're like, Oh, mission accomplished. Like I got it. Yeah. <laughs> did I use that shit? Fuck no, dude. But that was just an easy way to diffuse right. the situation. In my but so far, fingers crossed, no crazy gargantuous motherfucker blocking dude, that. Dude, this dude is huge. He, like he was like a bear. That's sucks, fucking dude. leaned over, blocked everything. Like that's there's no up. way you can get clear shot. Yeah, that's all right. Dude. Well, you got a fucking big gorilla blocking the blocking your shit. So. Ugh. I mean, that maybe been, uh... maybe you got the side angle, but that's that's a shitty shot. So. What the uh, bride and groom say? Were they pissed or nah? Oh, they haven't seen it. Oh. They... <laughs> So it's, coming, it's coming. <laughs> the film's getting the film's getting up, bro. 
It's coming up. <laughs> we'll find out in later podcasts, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm, just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna edit out and just use one of the fucking shoots where I'm where I take them out to the field or something. Just cut it in, splice it in. The top. <laughs> just <laughs> fucking put their heads and just. <laughs> Oh, I always figure this bullshit out. That's what we get paid for. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's why Make those it creative and fucking will be dazzled and shit. For sure. So what's the rabbit hole, Val? What you looking at? What's the rabbit hole? Now I'm looking at your wedding stuff. Oh, oh my god, look at you, fucking rabbit hole, you fucking creeper right now. Jeepers creeper. I'm curious because I okay. Finally, I know the podcast is external something. External hard drive, close enough. That was good. External something podcast. Yeah. And now I, I am seeing like, oh my god, your website is so put together. <laughs> the dude, the, that's the thing that gets us leads for sure. Ugh. But Instagram's where it's at. If you're not, it looks oh, so yeah. good though. It looks like a professional website. My website looks like one day I woke up after being hungover on like a Sunday, and I was like. then dude Just, but it, it's not good remember the secret though like if you guys both That's make a website or oh. anybody fucking listening remember from instagram if you're sending fucking traffic to a website mm-hmm. keep it one fucking thing like if you yeah. notice on there all I do are talk about weddings because that's my bread maker. Yeah, sure. People yeah. still hit me up for engagements or stuff. family shoots and graduations. Yes. I don't know why <laughs> but they yeah. still do but a majority like 85% of my leads or weddings right. don't try to be the jack of all trades on a website just right. stick to one so i'm kind of cool, glad that you saw that shit because it's just weddings like that's all we're fucking yeah. with right now so yeah. most, most people who like see wedding photography or videography or whatever they're like oh they just generalize you they're like oh he's a photographer so they yeah. just assume yeah. they can do everything everything else yeah you know what i mean like that's i've gone shit like yeah especially starting off like oh you're a photographer can you do this and i'm like you're paying me? Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> You're paying like, me? Uh, yeah, like yeah, Google yeah. And like, I figured that shit out, and like, yeah, I don't like. It. Then I figured out that I don't like doing it. Hey, but I do like doing it on hey, some wait, real wait. shit. I'm gonna Woo! Do, 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 do. on some real shit. Here's yeah. a shot to all my fucking wedding photographers out there. I call you guys the fucking. Do, 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 do. We are the fucking Navy SEALs of photography because you stick us anywhere and we will fucking get the job done. Like wedding photographers, everyone that I've met are fucking problem solvers, dude. They are crazy motherfuckers. They deal with a lot of shit. So to all you wedding fucking photographers out there, congrats on getting all these white hairs. (laughs) It's crazy, dude. That industry is fucking hard, dude. That and newborn photography. If you're a newborn photographer too, uh, no, so, yeah. that's crazy that's crazy that's yeah crazy. That's crazy. That's but crazy. honestly do you guys feel the same like where if you're a wedding photographer you could handle a lot of other shit because i feel yeah. that shit. yeah it's, it's a like, lot of un- under pressure last minute <laughs> rushing always no time we're always yeah, behind no time schedule. yep so yeah most people yeah. most other shooters like if you could do a wedding you could do other types of shoots with time for sure. And if you could, you could plan that. Yeah, shit. she's bringing it out. Woo, doo, 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 doo. All right, your turn next. Who's next? All right. Renee, go for it. Shoot your shot. <laughs> Our little graphics and sound effects go. Doo, 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 doo. Wedding photographers. Oh, Woo. Nice. All right, now Val, busting out that. That's not tequila now. What's that, Reposada? Uh oh. Oh, shit. What is that? It's the mezcal. The mezcal. It's funny. Let's see the review on this one. You're going to cue that sound effect. Here we go. At Val, it's going to be on cue. And we got to shake her head afterwards. <laughs> Damn, you got this shit queued up, so okay, This stuff, like, obviously, when you smell, like, tequila versus mezcal, like, it's a punch. Yeah, that's a... I feel like you don't really shoot mezcal. You're supposed right? to sip. It's a but... To wedding photography though wedding oh, photography. to surviving like i feel like most people that do wedding photography they they fizzle out even doing ve- wedding videos like amen for you sure fizzle because you're like sure. this Burnt. wear and tear on my body like it's nice if you're able to like move along with like the family like 
they they get engaged they get married then they have a baby and you're like following them and you're making money but yeah. when it's just like hit after hit you're just i'm shooting a wedding shooting a wedding shooting a wedding i don't get anything after that i'm getting referrals nobody else in the wedding party is getting married nobody else wants you you found a, somebody else is hiring somebody later and you're like oh shit yeah it takes a That's, part out of your soul to that to, to that, that. To that. So hopefully getting more bookings out of every single wedding so the never-ending weird loop of death Ooh, i like how dark like, she took it dude <laughs> shit so like, right? like they're getting married and starting a new life and we're like oh, I love fucking we're souls just getting more crippled like <laughs> my carpal tunnel so cheers to right. carpal tunnel get ready in three two shoot. here we go again <laughs> Here it go again. How's that one? How's it taste, yeah. motherfucker? Okay. <laughs> that one's all right. Yeah, I think you like the tequila what? better, though, huh? The tequila looked like you enjoyed more. Well, I mean, I've never shot mezcal. And that, that wasn't okay. that bad. It was pretty. No, good. it wasn't bad at all. It was really afraid because it smelled now, heavy. What's that one? What's that one called? So we got that I one on. I can't say this. It's uh Zicaro. Yep. Is that how you would say it? Zikaro? I so. oh, I'm If not, if the Zikaro. X is silent, Zikaro. <laughs> I don't know if um, the X is silent. In here. ancient Mexican culture, the jaguar symbolizes strains, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. <laughs> That's what it says. I like That's the jaguar. Just shit on that shit. The culture just, <laughs> the jaguar, blah, 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 blah. That's like fucking that. hilarious. <laughs> Oh man, dude, <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. I feel like oh, that's cool, though, man. But yeah, um, yeah. wedding photography. How to get Wait, leads? Yes, off of another and person. on wedding photography, do you take souvenirs? Do you take oh. gadgets? Do you or any other shoots? Do you take any mementos? Like when I shoot with Maker's Mark, anytime I get to like, I have like a few cool, really badass pens, and it says Maker's Mark on it, and it has like that little like fake wax look on it and it's right it's cool and then there's like a beach towel that i have somewhere shit i don't know where anything is that's I cool that you do that that's for free as long as it's something i already don't have so like i stopped taking glassware with me after like i got my 10th thing that says like john and Haley married in 2018 <laughs> love life photography <laughs> Look at that plug. That was a shameless plug. I love it. <laughs> love life photography. <laughs> We're oh, going to use you as the voice artist. <laughs> the voiceover actor. <laughs> Book us now. Love life photography. <laughs> I'm going to hire you. I'll hire you ASAP. No, but uh, dude, that's cool. That And Renee, do you take souvenirs? Because I don't. Like, that's cool I if do. you do, man. That's pretty I sick. do. I, uh, I take some gifts I think I'm going to use. Like I was telling Val earlier before we're recording, uh, I've shot like sports or race. I shot a lot of races, so I've like taken a lot of the shit there. It's always food, and that's like, what drink, I take is food. Drinks. <laughs> I take that shit because they're gonna throw it away anyway. So I'm like, dude, true, 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 true. Give me that shit. So yeah, for sure, I'll take stuff and I'll keep my press passes. Ooh, like, that's kind of cool. Like my my press passes that mean more than other ones. I have like some shitty press passes. Yeah, there's some like really good press passes that I'm like, yeah, I did that. Like, That's cool, man. I like that because I keep my Comic Con badges. Like, like those are fun for me. Like to go to those and geek out. Those are fucking fun to keep, dude. Like I was like, dude, that when we went to Atlanta, that shit was crazy, dude. That was cool to have that memory where I was like, oh shit, those nerds get down, dude. <laughs> Wait, get down. In Atlanta? Comic-Con? Yeah, there's a, a Comic Con called uh, what is it called? Uh, Dragon Con, and that one's I think on Memorial Day weekend. There's a bunch. There's, There's a, a bunch of them, Diego, but that one, Diego one's like the big one right now. It's the big one. Yeah. But over there, the ATL one, think about it as all it is is just a giant costume party for like three days. Like, that's it. There's not that much. Like, you know, Comic-Con has There's rows panels, and rows of panels. panels. Shit There's no fucking panels there. There's just people in costumes living it up, dude. Like, they're, that's like the nerd. That's super fun. One. Dude, it was sick. Right? Like, that one? Oh, yeah. my God. If you guys... Maybe... If this thing takes off, I'll fucking fly you guys out there. <laughs> oh, like, you guys will be my second and third shooters. You, Let's go. <laughs> if you do it for the sake of business, which is it's what we're doing every time we talk about business, this is like a, a big thing to do if you are like an entrepreneur of any type. 
whenever you are talking with colleagues, your meal is 50% off, your hotel is 100% off, your rental car is 100% off. So let's say that we wanted to like record podcast shit over there. Right there. It's all right off anyways. And, Georgia, and Atlanta and Georgia itself has a lot of uh, tax credits for filming. That's what's up. In itself, so. And the food's so good out there, man. Fuck, the barbecue was amazing, dude. The barbecue, the pulled pork. Fuck. The vegan barbecue, I've yes. I've been going there, but I've only been there, like, at the airport for a layover. Would you guys do, like, a, a Comic-Con shoot? Like, you guys know how to shoot video. Like, it's not that hard. Like, would you guys be down to do that? Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. I'm down for that. Okay. Yeah, I'll dress up. <laughs> just uh, funny just, uh, costumes and girls in costumes i'm fucking there dude i'm done i used to dress oh. up yeah you did would you yeah. dress up as? um poison ivy i made one myself i'll dude, show you i'll show you so 2019 my boyfriend got i don't know why he he has something wrong with his gallbladder and i was like i'm dressed up and i'm ready to go yeah so, so here's me in my backyard all right, poison Fair ivy. Not. Look at with my up. with my fake hair. That's cool. Wait, here you go. Dude. This is a bunch right. of titties. That dude, that looks cool. So I check this out. It. This is cool. Why this is? I love asking people that dress up. What's your favorite thing about dressing up? Like, is it getting into the character, being someone else? Like, what's your shit? Why did you like that? Getting away with stuff. Yeah. <laughs> literally getting away with stuff and people see you and like you can always hear when someone's like oh like look at like she's dressed up as blah 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 it's like i hear you and i'm gonna use that you said that to just breeze past you because you'll move out of my way dude it, okay it's Indian Comic -Con, it. it's so packed that you kind of get like a, a slight bit of like celebrity you do just because you're dressed up yep you do and everyone wants to take pictures with you. People will move out of your way. I like, don't like that. I don't actually like people taking photos of me. No? Ah, oh, dude, you're no. going to run into that, though. Fuck I'm like, I'm so sorry. That. I'm busy. I'm volunteering here, and I got to go. Bye. I've had that happen. Dude, the best Halloween. thing. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You said I've it had happened. happened Halloween. Because I love Halloween. I dress up like a fucking, like, my costumes are legit. So, like, I'll go out, and people are like, oh, fuck. we Because they're funny, dude. They're, like, really fucking funny. So, I'm like, I. <laughs> I enjoy doing it, and like people want to take pictures, and it's fun to me. That shit's fun, dude. That's yeah, what about. dude, that's but cool, do, man. Do you take pictures with people when they want it? Well, I can't fuck the fuck. Hey, dude, low key, honestly, because since I'm the filmer, like I've talked to so much cosplayers that they make me want to do it because they say there's one common theme. There's one common theme, and they say this: you get to be someone else. Like when you said you get to get away with a lot of yeah, shit, you get you can power. Be someone else for the day. Like, no, I'm fucking Eddie Brock, and I'm gonna be a dick. Like, I'm Venom. Fuck you. Like, in your cameras, I'm gonna like yeah. look mm -hmm. angry at your camera. Like, yeah. or you could be like Spider Man. I'm fucking legit. I'm a superhero. Like, they get to be that for a fucking day. Yeah. And to me, mm -hmm. that's why I'll always do it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's never gonna be a thing that I never quit. But I just, again, like what I told you, my brand, I was like, fuck that brand. Like, Eddie, that was too easy. But I'll still do that, like, on the side for fucking fun to tell the stories. But if you look at, uh, I have the brand. It's called That Cosplay Life. If you look at that, I use it for clickbait. Like, maybe one or two, like what Val said, the titty shot. Like, oh, my God, for clickbait. Mm -hmm. But then I celebrate, like, a lot of cosplayers in there. Like, even the geeky nerds that, like, would never get airtime, I'll throw them in the video where I'm like, dude. Your costume's, like, not the best, but I'll stick you in the video because it's fucking cool, man. Seeing them, like, try to make their own shit. Like, some people be making fun of their shit like a whack-ass Doctor Strange. But you know what? I respect Wait. that he tried to make it. He talked to me, shit like that. But You did that cosplay life? Yeah, that's me. I'm that cosplay life. But you also didn't do anything for 80-some weeks? Yeah, that, that one, like I said, uh, we just fucking let that shit go, like, with those two things. I have that on deck, though. That shit, once uh, cosplay season starts again, we're going to start being active again. Because that one, like I said, there's cool stories in there. I met a lot of cool motherfuckers in that shit. A lot of cool people. That one's fun. That one has a fuck ton of followers, too. Is it I the know. one with, Is it the one with, like, squiggly there's, lines? There's one with what? Like, bright blue. That cosplay life. Is it Yeah, yeah, blue? yeah. And you have, like, almost 25K. Yeah, that one's... And fucking, my friend fucking. follows you. Yeah, that oh one, uh, a lot of people recognize this when we wear the shirts, dude. Like, they want to come out in our videos. They're like, oh, my God, like, it's so fucking, it's you guys. I was like, yeah, yeah. It's, fun. it's fun. 
it's fun, dude. Like we're mm-hmm. we're making a little name in the community there, cause like yeah, I said, yeah. we celebrate everyone, not just fucking. Let's be real. There's okay. pretty girls that wear costumes. They shouldn't get all the screen time. Like, nah, dude. No, 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 no. But I do see a lot of pretty girls, and I see like a girl just showing her butt. I don't even know who she's she's supposed to be dressed as. Uh, I forget. It's an anime show. Of I course, remember, but... I'm a threat. It's like. You're not a threat. You're wearing a wig. I just see your butt. <laughs> of course you look I'm like a you're threat. wearing like, the a bikini. <laughs> yeah, what do you dude. mean? Of course. What is your cosplay? Regardless of it, if it is a cosplay, if some old fifty-year-old guy that like drives trucks for a living looks at her, looks like she's hot. And if you said, "Oh, she's from an anime," you would say, okay. "Like, like he'd say, like." I don't, I don't know what anime is. I don't give a fuck. I'm just staring at her ass. Yeah. yeah. And you want to know the crazy thing is? This is like some dark side shit. It's fucking cool. But I use that clout. Like I said, if you look at my YouTube channel, like you'll see like a little kid in a fucking carnage suit with the helmet going like this, having the time of his life, a little fucking Ewok nerd, like- Yeah, but, but these are your video. clickbaits. Exactly, and that's the funny thing. So instead of just featuring them and highlighting them, they're my clickbaits to show like the community, like, yo, no, 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 no. You thought you're just gonna get titties and ass, but now you get everything and you're gonna watch it. You and get like titties it. and ass and now you're gonna get a little kid. That's <laughs> <laughs> and now you're gonna get a little kid yeah it's so cool though man like, we sneak it in there we sneak it in there dude like we try to get everyone because that's what it's all about man that's what it's all about in that community like <laughs> just showing all that shit dude all that shit clickbait.com like let's be real let your guys's burgers at carl's jr those tacos that they take really good pictures of do they look like that when you get it no of course Fuck not. no dude yeah. my carl's jr burger those things are like not edible yeah yeah, They're not. It's all gasoline and fucking stupid shit, dude. Uh, that makes me wonder. Is there a clickbait.com? Clickbait.com? They just going to buy another domain. <laughs> clickbait.com. That shit's funny. Shit. Okay. So, Renee, what else did you have loaded for us today, man? Was there anything else that we were going to chat about? More drinks, buddy. That's it. More yeah, drinks? That was it. We, we got uh, the keeping our word, the like packing snacks, word. subcontracting um scheduling how do you work that out getting little momentum single de mayo, single de mayo. <laughs> and it was k38 right i'm never gonna k38 it. k38 it's <laughs> small i googled that shit too <laughs> <laughs> we need to get you like a computer screen <laughs> so you can just... yeah. the places the small little mom and pop yeah. shops it's itty bitty best shit you can get it's really good Damn, dude. It's, it's like a bar, but it's with food. So it's your call, Renee. Fresh. Your call, Renee. Do you want to keep it going or you want to call it? I mean, I can keep it going. I mean, I think it's yeah. Like, it's Val, can you hang in there? What's up? Um, yeah, I'll finish the rest of my beer. I can't do another shot. I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. But you guys want to go like a little bit longer? Just keep it going a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if you're yeah. drinking, yes. I. <laughs> I just like that pop sound, dude. Because <laughs> since the first shot, you've been yeah. wild. Yeah, your oh, face it's keeps warm. changing. <laughs> Please, like, go back sober and just like go to the middle and just look at your face. All of a sudden, you have like these little eye bags right here. Like, they were instant. As soon as you can tell, like you're like. Feeling it, eye bags were like. Hey, se está saliendo el diablo. I'm ready to go. Everybody. I'm ready to go. The veins are. Let's go, bro. It's like man. Let's go to that shop in San Isidro right now. Oh, let's go, dude. Let's go to K38. Want to go to TJ Baby Rock? Let's go to K38. I mean, shit's open right now. Hey, shit's open right now, dude. COVID ain't stopping shit. And it's going to be. Since we're recording a day early, yep. it will literally be single to my in one hour. Yeah, I know. So if and, <laughs> and we all go to TJ right now. <laughs> TJ, let's go TJ. I don't know if I ever go to TJ. I, I'm the closest one to TJ. No, I think I win you. I think I win you. Where are you at? Oh no, you might beat me. Fuck, I'm in Chula Vista. Where are you at? Oh shit, never mind. Did I beat you? Yeah. 
I'm like uh, 10, 15 minutes away, yeah, dog. I'm like, I'm like 15 me. minutes. He's the farthest south. I'm the most north. Okay. Yeah. Shit. I beat you. Oh! I'm in Encanto. Where's that at? Encanto? Encanto. Nine in Encanto? Where the fuck yeah. is that at? Honestly, I thought you lived in fucking Little Italy because you're always like, I'm in Little Italy. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Was Where's in Canto? <laughs> I'm like, in past Mission Valley or what? No. <laughs> you where know, is? Renee. Explain it. I don't know where the fuck that place is, dude. Oh, shit. Walk me yeah. through it. Like, where part of it? Okay. I'm it right now. Let's say you were going <laughs> Lemon Grove. Oh, oh. But then okay. you were like, no, 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 no. I want to go to the beach. Here. You're in the hood. Yeah, you're like, but I want to go to the beach. I don't want to be inland. Like, I want to go to the beach. And then you go another, like, 10 minutes. Oh, shit. And it's it's almost like the four corners of death. And then... Oh, it's terrible. And then Lemon Grove, and I'm in the middle. Oh, shit, dude. Jesus so you see some shit. Man, you got, you, you're hood. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I saw a guy get, like, like beat with a crowbar outside my mailbox. Shit, that was, was not Ninja Grand Stars Theft Auto. on my, like, in the driveway. Damn, so yeah, you're like east. Yeah. You're in there for sure. You in yeah. there. I'm you like in there. eight minutes from Plaza Bonita. Oh shit, you're super close to that. So you're yeah, not too okay, you're not you. too far away from I'm like uh you know where I'm gonna say no, I'm kind of close to Bonita too. Like I could get there like in about five minutes. Like I'm not too far from there. So yeah, you know where East Lake is at? East Lake? Yeah. Like by there, that area. Yeah, but like oh. off the one twenty five. Uh huh. <laughs> so I could catch that toll road straight down. Okay, everybody listening, this shit's going off the fucking rails right now. We're talking about where the fuck we live. Hey, this is bonus. If you guys wanted to oh, tune out, San Diego. You know what? this is that extra Yo, shit. This is that extra. Shit. Stop them. Just go on their Instagrams, and then you know what fucking city they live in. Just the city. Hey, if you want to come shoot with me, you want a shadow, you want a fucking job. Let's go. You. Can you keep my up? address? You like you just write my name. And you can probably ask it. where do I live, and it will tell you. Oh my god, I'm gonna do that right now. It's no, okay. I hid that shit from Google. Google used to have my address. I took Google that shit out. Home office. So yeah, I took my home office out, dude. I didn't want people looking my shit up, like to the fucking. My address. home office is my old house, so. <laughs> They're all mobbing somebody else. <laughs> so sad. Oh, Give me your camera shit. In San Diego. <laughs> Technically, when you do look up, like. 92114, it just says San Diego. It doesn't say like Encanto or Chula Vista or Vista, whatever. Gotcha. Gotcha. I could see this podcast being a problem when we get bigger, guys. Like when they start like fucking triangulating our position, they're like, I know where Val is. We're we're already (laughs) triangulating. They know where we are. Yeah. Yeah, If if you search hard enough, you could be like, yeah, that's that's where this person lives. Come find me. We'll have a drink. Let's go. Yeah, if, if you find me, um, pour you a shot. All my shit you- is not worth what it was once worth. So um, you can't make that much money. Oh, here's the thing. I would say, take my shit because I'm gonna get my money back. <laughs> I like, oh, right? God. Like I have uh, oh, liability like, insurance, general insurance. and general insurance. Make sure insurance. you steal it from my body. Just tell me that you follow the podcast. <laughs> so and I'll my body. Hand it to you and say, let me take my memory card out really quick. Right? That's my joke. I always tell my yeah. wife, I was like, yo, if somebody's jacking me, I'll be like, one second, all this will be yours. One second. Okay, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I am fighting exactly. for that shit for fucking nah, dude. I ain't yeah. trying to lose a fucking, get a puncture wound in my fucking abdomen yeah. for my camera, I, my ass. I'm not about to die over something that you can pay to get replaced come on for so not a motherfucker out already no way Get the fuck I, out. I don't care anymore to the point where like if i'm shooting Bro, I'm i'll just put my stuff down like in the sand and they'll be like oh is that fine i'm like i have liability in for sure dude it's okay and they're like is somebody gonna steal it i'm like if they do Ah. for me the fight <laughs> renee the the fight renee comes from like the disrespect more than the gear like i don't oh, give a I'm fuck if you steal my shit but if you like talk bad to my lady i'm defending her honor like if you're talking shit to me and trying to get big and if you're bigger than me i don't give a fuck like i'll go down swinging type shit but like okay. not for gear dude like when you said i'll knock a motherfucker out would you do that for your gear i'm curious dude would you oh well, yeah bro ah is your shit insured is your shit insured Hell no, dude. Oh, that's <laughs> I'm, gonna, 
I'll break it. No, it's why. No, 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 no. Even if it wasn't true, even if it wasn't true, I still knowing me, knowing me. I'm not gonna no. No, 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 no. Honestly, knowing me, even uh, if my shit was insured, I'd get new shit. I would still be so fucking mad that I'd probably break my camera over your fucking body somehow. I'd be that mad, dude. Like if you, if someone really tried to steal my shit. Or like come up on my shit somehow. I don't know why, but I just it would. So you yeah. would lose your business over someone else. Like say that motherfucker lives and he sues you for all your shit. Like you'd oh, be yeah. done with that shit. I can change the name, bro. Ah, whack, bro. Like, I'll just partner with somebody and just like you know piggyback. Fucking shadow, dude. I don't even exist. This is my <laughs> real name. Right? That's funny. You're dude. a ghost shooter. Well, don't break into Renee shit, or you getting fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I'm not down with that, dude. Now that I have kids, like, man, fuck that shit. Like, life's too short. I don't want to get fucking brain damage for defending my gear. Like, fuck that, dude. Yeah. And one, one good punch from a fucking motherfucker that's helping his homie out. Like, you remember, you fight one person, his homie's fighting too. Like, you're one guy, and usually your second shooter is not going to back you up. <laughs> They're going to be like, oh my god. Like, well, it's just you die. Well, you know, no, no, no. Usually, my second shooter is my brother, so for sure. Oh, your brother gets down, so you got a two v five at least. Yeah, he'll <laughs> for sure back me up. He's That's cool. Brother. Yeah, my brother. If my brother was shoot, shooting, he'd oh he'd scrap too. He's a scrapper for sure. I'm just saying, like this is all hypothetical, dumb bullshit. It is. It is. It is. But all the story, people ensure your shit. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I just, you don't give a yeah, fuck. How do you feel fine Pretty about deep. like letting go? Yeah, just let go, man. Fucking Elsa, that bitch. Let it go. Let it go. Fuck it, dude. I'm like, it's got over 200,000 clips. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. It's dun, 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 dun. Let me get my memory card. Dun, 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 yeah, that's the part that sucked, though. That's the part that sucked if they took your memory card. No, that, that I would negotiate. I'd be like this. Just yeah. give me that little thing and you can keep hey, all that shit, motherfucker. Like, just shit, give me yeah. that one thing. I need it. Like, this thing is worthless oh, to you. Like, if I could, I could sell that shit. Like, honestly, if I was at gunpoint, I literally could sell that shit. Where well, I'd be like, just pop that thing out for me. That's all I need. Like, that's all I need. You could yeah. take the rest. Easy sell, dude. Easy fucking sell. Like, they, they don't give a fuck about the memory card. They want the gear. No, no, but most people will just take your shit. They want to, well, that's true. Yeah. Say if they knock you out, like, they ain't, there's no negotiation. Yeah, like, but if I'm at knife point... Sure, buddy. Sure, buddy. Let me give you what you... Fuck that, bro. Let's take your shit. That's a, a new learning lesson. Every time you're done physically shooting something... For sure. Pop your memory cards out, then. That's a good point. a little tiny, you know, one of these doodahs. Doodah. Doodah. Doodahs. Put it in one of these little guys. Hey, hey. Your... Hey. So, if y'all so, motherfuckers well, like, stay till the end of this podcast, that was the last fireball right there. Right? <laughs> that was Get good. this little think tank thing in magic. In case you lose it, you can put your business off, card here. That's a fireball. <laughs> yeah, but I do this, so it's like you don't steal them. You steal both of them. That, <laughs> you steal, you, you steal them. the the compact flash and you still the SD, but you look like a fool because it's very powerful. <laughs> she wearing it like the karate kid, just oh, yeah. totally like putting it on. Yeah. <laughs> that's just sick, senpai. Yeah, oh, those shit, are dude. Not, dude, those are the shots putting in the work right now. Hey, the shots are hitting good, dude. I'll mm. be loving that shit, dude. I haven't drank in a minute, dude. So hell yeah. This mm. is probably the wildest most random episode wait we're, we're barely getting tv ma though we're not yeah. even right now we're still... i would say it's been uh like it's wait, been you wild, but not tv ma yeah, yeah yeah i was about this to say like the darkest it got was probably the bodies like that's where it got like whoa fuck. but we've Dang. been we've been all right and the, i think the Dang. furthest you went was you're like look at my poison ivy titties like that wow like there that we, we, we ain't gone past no. that we're good we're we're holding it together for you guys but Having it a good time doing TV it. TVMA, just spit out some gross words. Some gross words? What? Cunt. <laughs> oh. Shit. Right? No one wants to be called that. Nah, 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 nah. I nah, call nah. men that. Do you? Yeah. Like if you're if you're being a dick instead of being a dick, I'm like, stop being such a little cunt. And then like, ooh. Guys don't yeah. like that. Nah. I call women dicks and men's cunts. Men that's cunts. Cool. Men's cunts. Well, you, you, well, that's probably smart, though. If you call the woman a cunt. 
like the worst. No, <laughs> you don't want to cut. Dude, you will be fat. Now, now we're getting right, TV MA. Now we're getting TV MA. Yeah, 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 crunchy cunt. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, she pissed right now. Yeah. You're gonna go steal your flash drive or your memory card, give you your no, camera. You take the memory oh. card, okay. <laughs> she's gonna steal it and then she's gonna break okay, it. Camera. Just, oh, you want this? <laughs> you can take the memory cards and take the cameras. <laughs> That's hilarious. Dude. All right, hey, sorry. I got robbed. Your pictures are gone. <laughs> keeping your deposit. My bad. Again, guys, contracts. <laughs> Contact, Imagine it's in the contract. Insurance. If I get robbed, I think they call that foresee unforeseeable acts of God. Like that, yeah, yeah. that would be one for sure. But why would that sure. be an act of God? Yeah. Oh, he wanted you to be robbed. What did oh. you do? Oh, what did you do? What did I do? What did you do? What so did fucking you do? hard on the paint. Yeah, yeah I went hard on the paint. I forgive me, Father, for I have sinned again and again and again. Oh, <laughs> Well, I'm gonna keep going since I need a new ice cube. Oh, you're gonna get a new ice cube? Fuck, dude! Like, dude, look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Hey, yeah, you're, oh, you're cracking that shit God. open. I could see that uh the name now. The lake. I know. Name. That's crazy. Oh my That's God! Crazy. What are you doing tomorrow? Uh oh shit! Let me check. <laughs> Let me see. So you right now? Ooh, like I a got a oh, This nice. is halfway gone. I just got a Venmo. That's sick. Let's That's see, good. tomorrow. We got a Venmo, guys. That's... Hey, so anybody that comments below their favorite part of the episode, and if you stuck this long, I'm going to Venmo you five bucks if you guys put your handle on there. So if you oh, guys shit. do, it's five dollars for you because I got I, Venmo. So. I'm cutting out this whole end piece. Hashtag just saying. All right, let me this see. This shit is not airing. <laughs> this shit is not every. <laughs> Why you cutting this shit out right here? No, I just got a call in the morning. Calls are easy, dude. I could be fucking a little litty on that one, though. Calls in the morning, shoots in the. And scene. And scene. Clapper. Clapper. Oh, we can keep it going, but I might take a look at it. Well, it's <laughs> <laughs> He's on. When do I end it? How well, about this, Renee? Well, what we could do is this. Let's call this episode good. And then we could just do the last part right here, like on this part. Just uh, you can like to edit it out. Bonus. Right? Yeah, this is bonus. So we'll Over go ahead and Patreon. sign us out. Ooh, Patrick, Ooh. Patreon. So how do we want to sign us out, Renee? We'll let you, since you're uh, you're not doing tequila, right? I think well, you're the most. Since I have a fresh one, we could have Ooh. one more. So Wait, who's going to sign us out? What are you thinking? Out? What is that? This is whiskey. With the, oh, the, nice, dude. Okay, so you want to do a hard bit. With the little, you can't see it, but yeah, I could see it with the little cube now. Yeah, the little ball cube. That's dope. Keep it in fresh. Oh, we, shit. Call it, we can call it a night. Yeah. So, what do you want to call it, to, dude? How are we signing out? To last thing before we go. To cunty cunt. Oh, oh damn, that's raw. That is. What's raw. the worst thing anybody's ever called you to your face, like that, where you felt disrespected while you're working? It's oh, like while you're working. Working? Oh, yeah. shit. I have not Nothing been disrespected. To Nothing to yeah. I have, you? I have had a brother of the bride me. nonstop every time I pick up my camera to just shoot the room and he happens to be where I'm panning. He does this. Oh. Uh, every time I'm like, all right, I'm shooting it. I feel like you, you said that one shit. already. You said yeah. that one I remember yeah. that story stuck that's on That's the picture. most disrespectful thing that's ever happened to me while I was shooting. Damn. How about For you? Me? Uh, I would probably say just like kind of what you said, somebody too drunk. And the guy was just like saying like, oh, like cussing a lot. Like, oh, who the fuck is this photographer? But not disrespecting because he was fucking faded. He was calling out everyone like, oh, this fucking guy's stupid for marrying her. Like he was calling out everyone. dude. Oh, it was bad. <laughs> this hey, let's guys. give this guy a mic. Yeah, dude. No. Uh, if we had him mic'd up, that would have been an interesting one to rewatch. I like, fuck, I haven't dude. had anyone like talk shit while I was working. It's probably behind the back, if anything. Maybe. Nobody has probably the... behind, yeah, behind, but... Yeah. I've never had anything like that happen. Well, cheers to a good run, then. So, Val, you've just been the only one with the bird, but other than that, good track record? No. <laughs> she said no. Well, we'll say uh, a 95% I've... win record. You doing good? Yeah. All right, 95. Cheers to 95. Clickety-clack to that. Oh, uh, you didn't even... Uh... 
I'm the only one with shit in it. Oh, oh do I need to get more? That's All what right. I thought we're doing. Hold on, let's do it. Wait, right. what, what do you want me to do? Ready? We're popping right here. We're popping a little extra. A little extra. Which one? For the Patreon. Uh, tequila. I would pick tequila because that one you made it look good. This is from Jan and Jessica. I did for Jan and Jessica? July 30th, 2017. <laughs> for the souvenirs? Thanks. Thanks for the souvenirs. <laughs> 2017, baby. 20, to 2017. Motherfucker. Holy, they're still Life was good. Hey, I'm down with that. To hey, honestly, 2017. 2017. 2017. I was on a good one, dude. So, cheers to that. Hey, cheers to 2017. Salute. Oh. Oh. Ooh, that was a good sound effect. You hear that shit? That was like, ooh, music to my ears. All right, guys. Good. Thank you for sticking this shit out. This is a fucking train wreck. Enjoy. And enjoy Enjoy subscribers. <laughs> We're coming for you. More to get to 20, so we'll do it even harder in the paint next time. And that's at Balboa, right? If we get that? And that's at, like, I'm going to call it a live with a different uh, background at Balboa Park in San Diego. Tyrannosaurus, baby. Let's do it. All right, you okay. cunty cunts. We'll catch you next time. <laughs> Give me your SD card. <laughs> oh, shit.